Carrot Tops, Rarity and True Love by Switch Jam. For the past few years, Rarity has been very lonely. Even her friends have noticed that even she seems to be very happy, very outspoken, but deep down she feels unloved. She has been dating mostly as of normal ponies from Cantonot, but it didn't seem to work out. She used to date Fancy Pants for about six months. She didn't felt any more connection to him, so she decided to end their dating. After that Spike had actually informed her how he felt for her, but Rarity didn't feel the same way back for Spike, only that he's as a friend or like a little brother. Even her parents are getting a bit worried about their oldest daughter, that she spends a lot of time at her boutique, working, working, working. Or at the school teaching. But after that, she didn't do anything else. She actually hasn't been, been dating for the past year. Even Sweet Belle had noticed how much her sister is unhappy. She wants to help her sister, <clears throat> but her friends have told her not to interfere fear with Rarity's privacy. Like the time when they interfered with Big Mac with Miss Shirley, it ended up in fiasco. So they decided not to interfere even though that sweet Belle wants to help her sister to find at least a special song pony. And it's especially now when Hearts were Hearts Happy Hall Hoops Day are arriving within a week. All the ponies in town had to <clears throat> send out the cards or celebrating with a special sun pony and even some some decorations in the buildings, shops and even other town has been starting. All except for one place. Rarity's boutique hasn't been decorated at any of those for the big holiday. This holiday reminds her of happiness, which she doesn't have. Even her friends have tried to cheer her up and ask her if she wants to go to the newly Houghton Mill Happy Hope Days Festival. But she had declined and she says she had works to do. But that was actually not the truth. She had already made her new designs that was going to send away, but she couldn't go. Even Rainbow have had started even trying to figure out if she's avoiding her friends at some point. But that's not either. She actually enjoys her friends' company, but the only time of the year is actually Happy Hoops Day when she actually avoids any direct contact with friends, family, or any particular stallions. And there were only a few days left before <clears throat> the big holiday starts. Rarity was walking around town and I felt uneasy to see all decorations. Seeing all the ponies were smooching, kissing, hugging, and felt her heart even more heartbroken. She tried to act as happy with her friends, with a smile, but deep down that was just, just an act. But when she walked by a building in town, she heard a song. She stand, she stopped. And stand listening. It was actually Carrot Top. Since she's the Pony Wheels career singer, 
She usually teach children how to sing, but this time she was actually alone. Rarity had never noticed how beautiful her singing was. But then suddenly the music stopped. It stopped, and Kertop left the building and ran into Rarity, and she apologized for didn't see her. Rarity said that was okay, and she walked away. But when she was around the corner, she actually looked after Kertop. Rarity had known Kertop all her life. Since they were child, she had noticed how beautiful she are, and and suddenly there was something that she hasn't felt in a long time. It was actually love. Has she fallen in love with Carrot Top, or she was some random feeling? She didn't know. So she kept walking back to her boutique to try to avoid any connection or any contact with some of the many ponies, or at least. But the day before the holiday, Sweet Belle had tried to convince her sister to at least go to the festival to be with her friends, at least perhaps just have some fun. But she said that she didn't. Felt so well, in that she decided to stay at home, try to get some rest, perhaps next year. But that didn't actually work. Sweetie Belle didn't believe it, but she couldn't say, convince her sister otherwise, so she left the house. Rarity could hear in the distance from her room the music, on the festival, the laughter. And she couldn't start. She couldn't even believe it all that she missing. But she actually started crying. But about a half hour later, she hears a knock on the door. Not her parents or her sister at home, so she had no other choice to open the door. And who is at the door other than Carrot? Kertop has been there asking if Rarity wasn't this at the at the festival like many of the others were. But Rarity said that she didn't feel so well. But Kertop said, "If you don't feel so well, why don't you just just get some fresh air?" But then Rarity asked her the same thing. Why isn't she at the festival? Kertop. First, was quiet and looked at her, and looked back, and looked another direction, and said, "I didn't go because I don't have any special song pony." Rarity was actually stunned. Of all her beauty, she thought that Carrot Top had her special song pony by now, but it turns out. She didn't have any pony, so Rarity then asked if Kertop maybe wanted to come inside, or maybe have some tea, something to eat, so they could talk or something. Kertop just smiled and nodded, and she went walked in. Rarity prepared some tea and some some sandwiches for them both, and they start talking, mostly about how they, growing up together as friends and. How much their business are going? At some point, there, Rarity told Kertop the other day she actually heard her singing, and it was the most incredible. That actually made her starting blush. Rarity had never said to any pony how well they are singing, but Kertop she actually enjoyed her company. But even then. Carrot Top managed to convince Rare to at least try to go to the festival with her, even just as a friend. Rare decided and decided, why not? And they actually went to the festival. And even though that 
they were just as friends. Bradley's heart was skipping beats every moment when she looked at Carton. Even her friends had noticed that how she, that she actually arrived at the festival with Carton. But they didn't mention nothing else but they actually didn't say much except that they were just happy to see Bradley at the festival. Even after the festival was over, Rarity thanked Kelton for this great day, and then suddenly, Kelton kissed Rarity, and then she ran fast away from him. Rarity stood there, blushed, and didn't believe what just happened. But then, the same, the same evening, she felt her heart was skipping beats and moving faster for every, every second. The only part of less than a week later, she actually ran into Kertop and then she asked her, what about the kiss? And it turns out Kertop has actually been falling for her for the past few days and she just they didn't know what to say. And from that moment, they actually became a couple. They started dating, even though sometimes but she could since her business as the singer and the teacher and her critique. After around five months being together, something did happen. Her top was about herself in the forest, walking around, looking for some new herbs to her, to Sakura. Sakura was helping her with some new broads, some potions, to, for her throat since she didn't. She had a sore throat, and since the doctors couldn't help her so well much, so she asked Sakura for some help. Sakura needed just a few herbs so that she could make a special potion for her. But while she were looking around in the forest, something terrible happened. Eight humble wolves arrived and surrounded Keratop, and she had no idea how much to do. She couldn't scream for help because her throat was hurting. Even if she tried to scream, it was like a whisper. And she couldn't even run away from them because they were literally so in front of her. Even as she tried to avoid them and tried to find a way to through the timber walls and ran as fast as she could either to Sakura's home or out of the forest. She managed to find a small opening and ran. But it wasn't too late. Just a short moment later, of Timber Wolves was actually right behind her tail and managed to push her and she fell down a slip from a, from a hill and at the hill's end it was a tree. She fell so hard at the tree with her head and she fell unconscious. Sakura was, was getting worried about this in Kind of top didn't come back, so she was looking around the forest, but she couldn't find her. So she went back in town to get some help to find Kertop. She ran into Rarity, and she was getting worried herself since what Sakura told her. And they both started looking around in the forest with help from Rainbow and Apple Deck. But almost like the almost like the end of the of the day, they didn't find. Keratop, and now Rarity was getting even more worried. They were about to almost give up hope to find her until the next day. But then they were walking about this same hill where she had fell down, and then Rarity just looked down and saw her. She actually ran, ran down the, the hill, didn't care if she fall and break her leg, she found her. She called for her friends and they immediately took her to the hospital. 
it was just in time. The doctor said if they had found didn't want to found her much later, she could have died. It turns out she had a severe concussion. If that had not been treated earlier, she could have died. Rarity was so terrified to hearing that moment. She actually been told that Kertov was now in coma, and they didn't know when she would wake up or if she would. Rarity was beyond devastated. He stayed at Kertov's side all night for nearly six months. But the doctor said, if there isn't any sign of good treatment within the next two months, she will declare dead. But Rarity tried to convince the doctor not to give up hope yet. She could still wake up from the coma, but the doctor said the chance for her to wake up was, was about nearly now 10% chance she would wake up. But Rarity didn't care. Her she still loved Keratop and wished her to wake up. She really asked Rarity, she asked Twilight, Cadence, Luna, even Celestia for help, for any spell that could wake her up. But they said there were no such spells that could wake up her lover, her true love from the coma. And for nearly almost two months was over, the doctors was about to clear her dead. And Rarity asked for at least a moment before they do it. The doctors agreed and left the room. And just before Rarity was about to leave the room herself, she heard a moaning. She looked around and Kertov's eyes slowly opened. She was unbelievably happy to see her awake. She called for the doctor immediately. The doctor and two nurses came in and saw that Kertov was awake. But before they didn't have to see if Aki was awake or if it was something else. She could have been, it had been healed or she could have ended up in a vegetable state. But the she was actually back to normal. But the doctor said that she had to stay in the hospital at least for a couple of days more, just for just for safety, which she did. About a week later, she was now released from the hospital and was perfectly normal. But the doctor had told her just to take it easy for the next couple of days. But if she feels any pain in her head or dizziness. She immediately goes back to the hospital to have any doctor to take a look at her. She promised and even rather to make sure that she did go back. She because she was so close to lose her true love from any such so, so severe accident. Radis had told Keratov that she was active at her side every single day all the two all those months. Keratov actually said that she had I actually felt that she was there, even if she couldn't say anything, but she could smell her presence. And that made her happy. Even though her friends was very happy to see that Cat Cobb was back to normal. But only four days later, Cat Cobb was back to the hospital. She complained some headaches. But it turns out they were not nothing serious this time, just a minor headaches, some side effects after the concussion. The doctors gave her some painkillers and said, take a lot of water and rest and go back and it will pass away, fade away soon. I wish they actually did. And after they have been together for nearly five years afterwards, Rarity has never been so more happier than ever. She was actually now beyond happiness. She actually even proposed 
to Carrot Top, and she said yes immediately. They even asked Twilight if she could perform a ceremony in Cantalot, and which she did. But before this wedding and all happened, Carrot Top and Rarity had been asked in talking where they were going to celebrate the honeymoon. Crystal and Pi was one of those suggestions by the one Saudi Arabia. But then, Rarity found out another site they could go to. The legendary hero Miss Main's home. It was a very exotic place which they had never been to, well except for Rarity at least once. And Kertop saw some pictures from the area and she thought that was actually a good idea. So they decided after the wedding, they went straight there and were for about three whole weeks. And they had this amazing time. They were actually been there so long and they both actually felt so home there. Even had some stories about Miss Main's past, how she grew up and they actually did this great time. Having romantic dinners, the done dancing, and even having karaoke sometimes. But then, after some time, they went back home. Five years later, they both had been talking about starting a family. Kertop decided to be a mother first, so she had a son. Rarity became a pregnant the next time, but the son was all about. Four years old, and she had a daughter. But suddenly, only two years later, she had another daughter. And they were actually happy to have this little big family together with some help from Twilight. And that's how Caratop and Rarity found the true love and got a big, a big family. The end.